Tervetuloa seuraamaan Maailmankuvia-sarjaa. Tätä jaksoa kuvataan Virossa Ville Orussa. Ja täällä minulla on tämänkertaisena vieraana Evelin Rosenberg. Ja seuraava keskustelu tullaan käymään englannin kielellä. Hello Evelin, it's nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. So, uh, how everything began with you? Where you have been born in Estonia and uh, how this spiritual journey starts with you? I have been born in Tallinn, in a very uh, usual family. I uh, was uh, raised in Lasnama. It's like a uh, very big part of uh, Tallinn, where there's lots of big houses and like this uh, workers and some that kind of people lived here, there. And um, as I remember myself, I always had some kind of interest in spiritual things. I was curious about life, but what is life, what is the purpose of life. Uh, it's never was satisfied for me the um, usual things I wanted to know, like in death and something more and uh, and I remember that it started uh, for me the spirit the journey when my neighbor bring me one book mm -hmm. and it was book uh, written by Lula Vilma oh. it was in Estonia Lula Vilma was Estonian woman and uh, I was so interested in this book because uh, uh, she explained uh, several things that I uh, searched for in very simple and understandable way. Uh, what is life? What is soul? What is spirit? What is our purpose in mm. here in this uh, world? And so on. And uh, she also teached uh, some techniques how to make uh, yourself better, uh, how to deal with your emotions, and I read and uh, I uh, practiced it, uh, uh, but uh, somehow it was uh, the part of emotion was uh, difficult for me because you had had to understand about the emotion, what emotion uh, you have, and uh, uh, what is uh, uh, from where it comes from, and uh, it was like analyzing your emotions. And this was a difficult part for me. Yes, it has been very interesting to hear about this Lula Vilma because uh, it has been very popular in Finland in past uh, decades and, uh, and uh, even I have uh, more than 10 books from her. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, you was mentioned that uh, you have always had a, such a uh, curiosity about uh, spirituality where it came from? Was it your background in your family or uh, how did it come? No, it wasn't uh, uh, in my family. Uh, I don't know, it was in me, I guess. Mm -hmm. The search for mm -hmm. the answers was always uh, in me. Mm. And, uh, Is it about your nature that you are uh, that kind of that you want to explore things and uh, uh, research the books and uh, yes, it's, it's I read your... lots of spiritual books, not mm. only Lula Vilma. Mm. Uh, my uh, bookshelf was uh, <laughs> filled <laughs> with several uh, books, and uh, of course, the one reason, if I think, was that that uh, I had some kind of inner problems. Uh, they stemmed from my childhood. Mm. Uh, I didn't have always like this uh, fairy tale childhood. I have a problematic childhood. Mm. My father had problems with alcohol, mm. and my mother was quite controlling. And there was lots of arguments mm. in the family. And I was uh, this uh, shy and sensitive child, and mm. uh, was suffering uh, for these family problems. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was like uh, inner suffering that uh, I wanted to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And their spiritual books um, were lots of about the self-help mm -hmm. and how to deal with uh, inner problems and, mm -hmm. and things like that. And that was uh, maybe the second reason why I 
searched for the mm. solutions. <laughs> mm. Yes. So uh, when you was uh, uh, reading those Lula Vilma books, uh, did you also met her in real life? No, I didn't met. Probably I saw some uh, television shows, mm. uh, hearing uh, her in radio, but uh, I was uh, very young then. Mm. The book. Uh, first book uh, I got, I was 14th. Okay. And then I bought uh, all the books and was very, very uh, practicing uh, uh, the techniques. I remember there was a teaching of forgiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I had lots uh, of stuff to forgive to my parents. Mm -hmm for this difficult childhood and I did it and it helped me. Mm. So lots of emotional stress was uh, yes, yes. taken away. Um, some kind of uh, relief I get uh, from that uh, I forgave to my parents that uh, they were like they were and they didn't know better and uh, so on. Mm. But this um, inner suffering kept uh, going on. Okay. I didn't uh, get rid of this uh, mm. before I reached this mm. uh, teachings, mm. practical consciousness. So uh, what was the directions where you tried to find those answers, how to get rid of this uh, emotional stress from the childhood? Mm -hmm. What different directions you try to find uh, the solution? I read some self-help books mm. and I used uh, uh, some kind of meditation and I used uh, astrology. Mm. I used uh, crystals. Mm. Uh, like a healing crystals? Or? Healing with crystals mm. and some several me uh, therapies, but mm. Uh, they were not so profound or mm. it was like uh, some kind of uh, interest and it uh, went over and that's it. Uh -huh. I didn't reach uh, any stable uh, like um, calmness or, mm. or satisfaction and, or that kind so of thing. So it always came back after a because, yeah, my problems uh, was in childhood and they are very, like, deep problems. Yes, yes. And I didn't know how to, like, go deep and release all mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. baggage there. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, they are in the unconsciousness part yes, of you. Yes, yes. Uh, and I, uh, I now know that a very big part of my problem was that I was suppressing my emotions. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh cry i didn't uh, argue with my parents mm -hmm. uh, i was uh, scared and uh, i always like uh, many many um, emotions i just suppressed and mm -hmm. i keep it, them inside mm -hmm. you kind of just put it in the heart and yes. didn't uh, yes. let them go out well uh, that's uh, quite many people has this same problems yes. that they just let them to be that kind of <laughs> what uh, everybody can hurt in yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, then uh, you try to find the, those uh, solutions from the, uh, those uh, therapies and sessions and uh, crystals and, uh, and even astrology. Yes. But uh, it didn't give a transfer what you was looking for. So, how things continue from that? It gave me something to do. It was interesting and uh, I can't say that there was uh, any results, but uh, yes, uh, it wasn't so profound that uh, mm. I would feel calm and uh, not stressful. And uh, I remember in 2014, I was a young mother. Mm. I had two little baby girls. And uh, of course my life was uh, good because I had good husband, a good job. Uh, actually in that time I lived in uh, Espo in Finland because oh. my uh, husband was diplomat and he mm. uh, was working in the Estonian embassy. 
and then I was home with two kids. But uh, I felt very stressful mm. because uh, my children didn't sleep very well and I can't sleep also in the nights and uh, I felt this anxiety building up mm. in me and I didn't want to lash out to my husband and to my young children and I was like uh, trapped mm. somehow. And then I um, remember I uh, listened to this radio show about spirituality in Estonia, very popular, Hallo Cosmos. Ah, oh, Ingrid Beck. <laughs> yes, Ingrid Beck. Uh, mm. And uh, there was uh, Ingvar Willi the speaking mm -hmm. about his teachings and uh, about this uh, self-realization mm. that uh, he uh, went through. And I was very curious, of course, because um, I knew that it was something very big and profound experience if you have re realized yourself. And I remember he speak about that, uh, that he had a method how to teach this uh, self-knowing uh, and self-awareness. And uh, it was like, uh, that, that I wanted to go to the courses when mm. uh, he teaches things like that. Mm. And I, I looked up that the next course was in Tartu, like two months. But uh, of course, I was in Finland. I, I didn't manage to go there. Mm. But uh, soon I, um, um, we moved back in, uh, to Estonia. And then I uh, went to the courses. and. Uh, yeah, I m remember the first day, it ends with uh, this kind of technique when you get to uh, know who you really are. Mm. And it was a very profound uh, experience uh, for me. It was like uh, dawn for me, like, uh, like uh, sun came up in me. I mm. realized uh, who I am. And it was like calmness, uh, clarity, it was so good. Mm -hmm. And then I um, realized also that I'm not a bad person inside, mm -hmm. but th there are, these are only bad emotions that I feel. Mm -hmm. And when I release the bad emotions, I can be myself, I can be my true self, uh, like kind, calm person. And it was, uh, I remember, like, uh, today, so this experience. So you realize that you are not your emotions. Yes, yes. Mm. And this, like, little click, but it uh, changes very much mm. how you look at the things. Mm. Because I, like, uh, I felt like I am the, the emotions. Mm. And I was always a, a bit anxiety. I had also fear, doubts, mm. uh, lots of anger, mm. uh, like discontent, and so many like negative and emotions. And uh, it uh, like were so close to me that I am these uh, mm. and it bad emotions. You down. Yes, yes. Mm. And uh, then I, um, of course, started to least, uh, release these emotions and uh, uh, felt uh, more and more calm in my life. And uh, So you have to also working with your thoughts that what you're thinking mm -hmm. about yourself. Yeah. So yeah. everything uh, start to change when you realize that. Uh, yeah, because um, uh, from outside, my life was uh, okay. I mm. had a good job. Mm. I uh, am a lawyer. I had a job uh, in telecommunication company. Career, uh, career was mm. good for me. I had a good husband, uh, very beautiful house, two daughters. But I felt uh, very bad inside. Mm. And that uh, inside feeling uh, was going to change. Mm for more calmness, relaxed, uh, 
Joey came out and uh, this kind of... Uh, so can we say that uh, by going to the course of uh, Ingvar Willido was one kind of turning point in yeah, your life? it was life-changing for yes. me. Because I started, uh, right now I was ready for these teachings mm -hmm. and I started right now to practice these techni techniques every day and I mm. got uh, very good results and uh, mm. it was very good. Mm. I, um, he had, has uh, five courses and I took uh, all the courses in mm. the row and I practiced and got results and then also took the Kriya Yoga initiations mm. Uh, mm. and uh, uh, very fast <laughs> yes. track Many for people me. have mentioned that Kriya Yoga, but I haven't asked that. What is it all about? Uh, what kind of uh, difference is uh, this Kriya Yoga if mm -hmm. we compare it to some other? So can you define a little bit more about the Kriya Yoga? What is it? What is it? Uh, Kriya Yoga, of course, is uh, yoga, which is uh, like yoga lineage is from uh, Kriya Babaji mm -hmm. and uh, Marshal Kovindan has uh, teached our uh, teacher Ishwarananda and um, there are also uh, breathing techniques mm -hmm. like pranayamas, mm -hmm. there are um, like meditation or uh, it called uh, dhyan mm -hmm. techniques when you like um, to control of your thinking and uh, this thinking process and uh, you practice uh, to manage your thinking mm -hmm. and that's kind of uh, exercises and uh, uh, it's like uh, it's uh, you have to be conscious when you do this. It's mm. the, it's the precondition that yeah. the kriya yoga me means the action uh, with awareness. Mm. Uh, if you are not aware, uh, you can't do this uh, mm. uh, right way. Mm. Uh, so the practical consciousness is like. Um, precondition to be aware, to release all those obstacles mm. that uh, don't allow you to be aware and the Kriya Yoga is uh, the next uh, step to these teachings. Well, that's, that sounds very nice and also logical mm -hmm. that these two things are uh, put it together. Yeah, the, uh, because uh, uh, Ingvar began to teach these practical consciousness uh, uh, techniques because uh, he realized that uh, the Kriya Yoga students can't uh, do this practice because uh, there are so many obstacles to them mm. and these obstacles were emotions and thoughts mm. and then he began to teach how to get rid of these obstacles mm. yes. and to do Kriya Yoga mm. better. Mm. Uh, there is lots of those um, uh, uh, missed thoughts about yourself uh, in people nowadays mm -hmm. that they uh, thinking uh, that they cannot do something or they are not worth enough and mm -hmm. lots of this kind of uh, uh, problems and it's uh, it's good that uh, there is some ways how to get rid of those yeah. uh, misthoughts about yourselves yeah. and, and misbelief things mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah, this teaching is very simple for uh, Ingvar is teaching that uh, these are all thoughts and emotions yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, best and right way to is to get rid of these emotions mm. and thoughts mm. and then you become yourself. Mm. You don't have this kind of uh, thoughts that you are mm. not enough or that uh, you can't manage in your life or you have anxiety or fear mm. or these are all to be re released. Mm. 
And uh, when we are talking about this um, uh, seeking of uh, our inner true self, and uh, is there some kind of uh, uh, techniques what you yeah. use it for it? Actually, okay. seeking is uh, not needed mm -hmm. because seeking is something that you search out of yourself. Mm -hmm. But we have to turn inward mm -hmm. because uh, we can realize ourselves only in inward. Mm. And uh, the technique is uh, very simple, uh, but uh, the thing is that we are in a whole our life, we have used to like look outside, mm. search outside, mm. uh, uh, and uh, we just, uh, it is like. Um, we are used to do that, mm -hmm. and this uh, we have to like uh, practice to to change our change, habits. Yes, our habits, mm -hmm. and to understand that uh, even even our thoughts, uh, uh, our thoughts are so close to us, but you have to realize that I'm not my thoughts. Yes, because thoughts are also uh, also outside of me. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, so you can use your thoughts, but you don't have to get rid of uh, yes. that, uh, in crap of thoughts yes. that you are commit. And uh, thoughts is the uh, first thing that uh, is an obstacle for realizing mm. yourself, because mm. uh, thoughts are not you, but uh, we are attached to mm. thinking, to thoughts, mm. to information. And we also have self thoughts, mm. and uh, there are misunderstanding that I am my thoughts or mm. I am attached to my thoughts. But uh, these things you have to release mm. to get to know yourself. Mm. True self. True self, yes. Mm. Uh, and what is this true self? Um, in many traditions, uh, uh, we are talking about the uh, higher self and psychological uh, field. They uh, talking is super ideas and uh, and so on. But uh, when we talking about this kriya yoga and uh, practical consciousness, how you would define mm -hmm. this true self? Is it something divine? Yes, it is divine. But uh, we teach that there are three main qualities to mm. our true self, and that's our I am, mm. I know that I am, and I am bliss. Mm. This is uh, like you can experience mm. that you are, you are being, you can know that you are. Mm. And if you accept yourself, then you then you feel bliss. You are benevolent to everything outside you and for yourself. Mm. And that's yes. it. Yes. Well, thank you. That's opening that uh, uh, thing very nicely. Uh, so, uh, if we're going back to your story, spiritual journey. Uh, so, what happens? Uh, when you was uh, uh, after that course and you went to mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, what different things happened to you? Uh, I became a student of Ingvar Villida mm -hmm. and I started to come to Lilla a lot. Mm -hmm. I very liked the place, uh, mm -hmm. the calmness and this uh, very beautiful natural place. Mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, and this changed, of course, my life very much. Mm -hmm. And like my uh, first thing... What kind thing, of changes it made? Uh, my first thing uh, became to be uh, uh, a yoga student mm -hmm. and to practice a lot, uh, 
practical consciousness and Kriya Yoga. Mm. And um, my life uh, became easier. I remember even in my work, mm. uh, in some point I realized that it is uh, very effective to mm. work uh, because in meetings and uh, like if I have to something to do, there was any emotional obstacles. And uh, I was very surprised that the emotions are so big uh, obstacles to do your everyday work. Mm. Mm. And if you don't have these kind of emotions, the work is more effective. It's very simple, easy to uh, do your work. Mm. Mm. And uh, it was because as a lawyer, I had to study lots of uh, European regulations mm -hmm. and I started to use my awareness and consciousness mm -hmm. to do this. I grasped like uh, easily what is important uh, in the regulations because they are very voluminous. Mm -hmm. There are 15 pages and somehow uh, you have to look through but if you use your only your mentality it's like a uh, very big uh, job to do, mm -hmm. but if you use awareness, mm -hmm. uh, you use your understanding, your insight, uh, it became easier for me. What is the role of intuition uh, in this? I recognized in some point that I just knew mm -hmm. what is the right answer, what is the right approach, mm -hmm. what is the right uh, way to do things. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I know, you, and uh, you have to trust that your knowing is uh, right. Mm. And if you act based on these knowings, mm. then you can look uh, back and say, oh yes, there was uh, really good uh, answers and that my knowing was right. Mm -hmm. And this uh, gives you some uh, confidence mm -hmm. and then you can use your intuition like mm -hmm. that. Yes, and uh, what do you think about the intuition that where this information comes when it comes through the intuition? Mm -hmm. Is it from true self or how do you think about it? Uh, that is certainty comes. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kriya Yoga and uh, also Inga teaches uh, this concept of uh, teacher who is uh, behind everything. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the insight and uh, intuition information. It comes uh, from this teacher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sadhguru. Okay. It's so like Kuru principle. Yoga. That gives okay. this uh, good insights, good information. The teacher uh, gives you insights and information if you are worth this. Mm. You have studied, you have worked with yourself, you had uh, some good results, then mm. it's like a bonus or <laughs> something mm. like that. Because this uh, word uh, Sadhguru is new here, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I guess many people in the audience doesn't know what it means. Can you a little bit open up that what it means, Sadhguru and mm -hmm. principle of Sadhguru? It's like a guru of the gurus or the teacher that uh, pervades everything in the world mm. and it is inside you, it is inside your guru and it's like a big principle. Yeah. And, uh, principle is uh, very simple to say that uh, the job of this principle is to teach us, mm. to give us some information that uh, we can de develop mm. also spiritually, we mm. can go ahead. Do we have a uh, all common uh, Sadhguru who is teaching us or is it uh, yes, separated for everybody? It's common. It's okay. like uh, one point that is uh, spreading knowledge for everyone. Mm. So, kind of 
divine figure. Yes. 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 Okay. That's uh, interesting Actually, information. Actually, in uh, Lillaro, we have this one little temple who is uh, uh, dedicated to Jupiter, mm -hmm. uh, planet, but it's also a guru principle, mm -hmm. like in uh, Vedic tradition and in Hindu, they say that Jupiter is guru. And Guru is re uh, Jupiter is representing this Guru principle also. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, actually, I guess Ingvar mentioned something about those, but uh, unfortunately, I don't remember everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, <That's coughs> lots of <laughs> to remember. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thanks for sharing uh, this. Uh, just wondering that when you started to uh, do practicing of this. Uh, practical consciousness uh, practices and uh, how does it affect on your yourself, your family, mm -hmm. how everything uh, mm -hmm. turned to? Yes, I had very good results. Uh, my um, relationship with my children uh, was better because I felt so much better inside of me. Uh, I didn't have any thoughts that, that I'm not a good mother because uh, I had very difficult uh, relationship with my own mother. Uh, lots of conflicts and violence even there and manipulation mm -hmm. from my mother towards me oh. and uh, it all um, influenced uh, my relationship with my uh, children mm. and uh, when I started to release all these emotions and uh, concepts and thoughts uh, that is uh, was concerned with my mm. child own childhood mm. uh, I was uh, I felt uh, very light and happy and uh, uh, I enjoyed uh, also my own children much more. Mm -hmm. And I was living with my mother-in-law and one day uh, she came and told me that Evelyn, you are a different person, uh, you are uh, calm and you, are, you, enjoy more, you enjoy more life and that was <laughs> very big thing for me because uh, she was like a mother to me. Mm. But uh, even though we had uh, good relations, I, because I suppressed all my emotions, sometimes I lashed out mm. even to her. And uh, it was thing that I was ashamed of and uh, and it was very good to hear that it, uh, she was uh, happy for me. Mm. And of course, with my husband, uh, um, he was the first uh, that I lashed out if, uh, mm. if these emotions, uh, tensions were so big. Mm. And uh, the relationship with him also got uh, much, much easier and better. So he didn't uh, object this uh, going to this course or anything? No, no. He saw Supporting. that it was a good thing. Mm. Very good. Well, I'm just uh, asking uh, because uh, uh, quite uh, many uh, people, when they does not know what it's all about, mm -hmm. uh, they might be a little bit concerned. Yeah. He wasn't interested in these kind of things. Mm. And uh, eventually that uh, drew us apart, mm. but uh, there was no drama, mm. there was understanding, mm. and uh, we have good relationship. That's good, yeah. that's good. Well, uh, it sounds that uh, this has really changed your life and, um, and nowadays you can enjoy more of your life, what you are going, where you are. And uh, you are also doing, uh, I guess, some voluntary work uh, for Lilia yes. nowadays. Yes. Can you open it up a little bit? 
I do uh, these kind of things that are more joint with the teachings. Mm. Uh, of course, if I had so good results, I wanted to give back. Mm. I wanted to share this, uh, mm. my good in experience with others and to inspire others to take this challenge, mm. to take mm. this route, to, to get to know yourself and uh, to know how you can um, make uh, your life better. Mm. At first for yourself and then for others. And I took this uh, teacher's training. Uh, it was uh, one year. We uh, uh, very difficult <laughs> journey. Mm -hmm. We um, studied how to give this teaching to others. And um, I also do Ingvar Willidishwar on the Facebook uh, mm -hmm. page. Okay. Uh, this posts and everything and um, mm. uh, what else because I'm a lawyer I, I do some uh, stuff uh, yeah. if there is needed some lawyer help mm. I do this uh, I, I also like to do very simple mm. uh, works here like mm. clean up in ashram mm or do the work in the garden and that kind of mm. things. Is this all voluntary work or is this something when, when, when it comes to, example, your lawyer's work, that um, it's, is it paid or not then? No, it's not paid. So it's, it's everything is like a karma yeah, yoga? Yes, we say it's karma mm. yoga. It's like yeah. doing uh, mm. things. Uh, to others to yeah. and not to expect something for mm. you to mm. back. Well, this kind of attitude would be good to spread all over <laughs> the world because uh, nowadays people just care too much of money to making own money and mm -hmm. so on. And, and it's, uh, it's very nice to he see and hear these kind of stories that because, uh, example, in Finland, uh, it's uh, disappearing, that kind of mm -hmm. attitude, and it's not so nice to notice. Thank you to share this. Thank you. So, uh, beside of those uh, uh, things, what you have uh, doing for Lille or like you thought, uh, lawyers work, cleaners work and so on, you have also made other things like uh, creating jewelries and, and also taking part of uh, building this. Uh, yes. Schoolhouse. Can it, you tell more about that? Yes, it is wonderful that uh, here in Lillauer uh, we got to do uh, new things that uh, we haven't never do in our life. And I remember when we built this uh, schoolhouse, uh, I was uh, doing the walls like in clay that I haven't done <laughs> and uh, I was drilling <laughs> and uh, lots of new stuff. But if you don't have like these limitations mm. in you, you can do everything. You become, become very universal. Mm. And uh, I have, uh, uh, when we built this flower of life, mm. uh, I put stones in place there and uh, and lots of uh, yeah new jobs and things that i never done and also this um uh, rudraksha it's like uh, bracelets bracelets and uh, malas mm. uh, this i became to do here because uh, it was a need mm. <laughs> personal need uh, at so first what is purpose for those bracelets and and these uh, necklace, necklaces? Uh, there is a story that uh, uh, Rudraksha is a tree and uh, the Rudrakshas uh, grow in tree and it was like gift from Shiva. When we saw the, uh, the human life, uh, uh, he was uh, very sad 
and uh, he began to cry and uh, his tears fell to the ground and from the tears uh, grew this Rudraksha tree and uh, yogis consider Rudraksha therefore sacred. It's like talisman, it uh, powers you, gives you power and uh, like Shiva power is with you and uh, when you say mantras, uh, it is good to say it, uh, for example, 108 times uh, and then Where we have this, this comes? mala. It's like also in Hinduism and yogic tradition, it's like sacred uh, no. number. It's like uh, eight is like unlimited uh, number. It's like mm. uh, limitless. And uh, yes, it is said that it's very good to read uh, mantras uh, 108 times. And we have uh, these necklaces when we have uh, uh, 108 uh, Rudrakshas. Mm -hmm. And then we can count uh, each mantra, one bead, and we can count 108 uh, mantras. It's like a very practical thing. Well, uh, it has been very interesting to hear all these stories what you have told us and maybe it's time to go to the last question. So what you would like to share about this uh, life journey, what you have got and uh, for audience? I'm in silence because uh, if I'm in myself, then it is silence. And it is calmness, it's silence, it's clear. And uh, my wish is that uh, everybody could realize who they really were. Thank you, Evelyn. It has been my pleasure, my honor to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.